Have you ever sent a nude? Texted your ex drunk? Have you ever cheated on somebody? Have you ever kissed a girl? Never have you ever kissed someone your best friend has also kissed? Hi guys, it's, it's the McLaughlin, McLaughlin girls. girls and welcome back to another video. Let's go! Yeah. Let's just say me and Millie have had the craziest week. It is currently, what time is it girlfriend? What time is it? It is 10 o'clock at night. night on a Thursday, Friday. Oh my gosh. Friday. I thought it was Thursday. Oh. Yeah, we've got two days to get this video out and running. Right, lastminute.com, but tell the Millie why has the week been mental? Rosie and Harry have left, the boys have gone home, so it's just basically me, Megan and Josh in the Icon house, and there's just so much confusion going on right now. So many things that we can't tell you, but trust me, this next month's content <laughs> on YouTube is going to be sick. Guys, stay tuned for the next couple of weeks because we definitely have our best videos in the next two weeks coming out and you guys are gonna love it. I'm in a really high mood, high chocolate. So today's video is Never Have I Ever with our followers. So in this very cute bucket hat, we have lots of Never Have I Evers that you guys have sent us on our Instagrams but we are also going to be having videos of you guys in this video. So stay to the end guys, because your face may show throughout this video. Thank you so much guys, we love you so much. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button right now, baby. Bippity babbity boo. Are you ready for that? There are such good ones in here. So we have a paper saying never, and we have a paper saying have. So we are definitely going to be spilling some tea. If we want to explain our reasoning, we will. If not, it will stay quiet and you guys can jump to your own conclusion. Okay, ready? Right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever text more than two guys at once. So obviously this is not while we're in a relationship. Three, two, one. You gotta keep your options open. Hi, Millie and Megan. Um, the never have I ever question is, have you ever done the deed in the jungle? <laughs> jungle? What jungle? No, there ain't no, no jungles. Oxbridge Forest. No jungles. Unless you're talking about a jungle down there, then <laughs> never. Uh, have you ever cheated on somebody? Uh, never. never. Because our mama raised us differently. Hey, McLaughlin girls, have you ever used a fake ID to get into a club? or anything like that. Oh, Millie, tell everybody the story when you use my ID, and I use my ID at the same night. Who wants to know the story that Millie got kicked out of freaking spoons? Millie got kicked out of Oxbridge. <laughs> everyone in the house is older than 18 besides me at the time, and I wanted to go to spoons with everyone, not to get drunk or anything, but just like, just to go for like the environment. I took Megan's driver's license and Megan had her passport. And I went in first, and then Megan went in. And then I went to the bathroom and a girl was like, oh my gosh, you're Millie from TikTok. I was like, yeah. She's like, you're not 18. And I was like, shh. Next minute I know that girl went to snitch on me and she told the security guard and um, he came up to me, he's like, you're not 18. I was like, yes I am. So I got kicked out of spins. McLaughlin girls, never have you ever done the deed and your mum's walked in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Never. Never have you ever kissed someone your best friend has also kissed? You whore! I know! <laughs> All I'm gonna say is Julia. Went 24 hours without showering. We were traveling to Thailand, I guess, and we had like a connecting flight and it was impossible to have a yeah. shower. That was it. That was it. I was next to Millie and I was like, whoop! Hey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> fashion! McLaughlin girls. Never have I ever been drunk and was flirting with a boy who you didn't even know from Portugal, France, anyway. <laughs> Portugal, France, anywhere. I feel like you were reading that. I love the preparation. <laughs> Obviously, this was before we had boyfriends, so. I've never flirted with someone from France. But I, have. I have from Portugal. I flirted with someone from France, Portugal, Spain. Miss International. <laughs> International. Never have you ever kissed two people in the same night. I was about 15 and thought I was cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm a bad egg. Surprise. Bit of a surprise, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never have you ever gotten too drunk and been sick everywhere. Wait. 
Well, I have. I definitely you have. You definitely have. Sorry, Max. A very good, not my best moment. Beef with someone that visited. Whoa! <laughs> Balls dropped! Had beef with someone that visited the house. Penny. Mm. Done the deed in the shower. I know your answer. I'm sorry. Never have I ever lied to get out of work or a job that you're doing. I got the sack. She got sacked. Spain! <sighs> I was fed up with my job and I had no life and I just wanted to go see my family for one weekend. And also, my stepdad's mum died and all the family were going to Liverpool to like take their mind of everything and I wanted to be with my family when this happened and work would be in horrible so I said I'm, go I'm, gonna, I'm going to Portugal for the funeral and that's the only way they were going to let me go and I actually didn't go to the funeral it was Mia's birthday party on the same weekend I know it all doesn't make sense but it, it was the truth and how did your boss find out? Um, Miguel Arteta oh. so basically our stepdad went for lunch with Miguel Arteta and then he tweeted it and then my work saw the tweet and realised that my stepdad was in Liverpool and then she went to Facebook and, and she found out that we were at the party. Have you ever re-gifted a gift to someone else because you didn't like it? So many times, I'm sorry. It's the candles for me. So many times. I'm joking, I do love candles, but there was a year I got way too many candles for someone that loves candles. Do you know what though, mum, I know she's not even in this, but I'm gonna bait her out. Our mum basically used to wrap our Christmas presents from the year before that we never opened or played with and gave it to us the next year. And we didn't even realize. Did you know that? Have you ever sent a nude? Uh, never, never and never will. Do you know why? Because I'm not in raises like that. You could be with a man for 307,000 years and then eventually break up and he got there for life, girlfriends. Mama talks with Megan. Texted your ex drunk. Something I'm very proud of. When I'm drunk, I'm proper drunk, but I've never texted an ex. Nothing I'm proud of, no comment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey girls, never have you ever give somebody you've met in a night out the wrong number just so they can't keep in contact? And 100%. I'm sorry, just some weirdos just can't you like, and they don't Can I have your number, number please? Watched porn. I had to learn how to do stuff from somewhere. I watched it with my friends. I watched it once by myself. There was one time this boy called Marcio in my school was watching porn on the school bus and had his phone like that. And I was like behind, so I was basically forced to watch. Don't blame Marcio. Marcio, you probably not watching you this, done. but I remember that moment. Had a threesome. Never ever. I not. I thought you'd put half for that. I don't know why. Just thought you'd be the threesome type. I didn't think you were gonna be the porn watcher type, but you know. You also watch porn, so shut up. With my friends, not on my own. I led a guy on. Now. I'm not very happy with this one, and I wouldn't say it was necessary let a guy on to the point like, oh, I spoke to him, got what I wanted, then dipped. Basically, I spoke to him, spoke to him, and then when he asked me to be his girlfriend, I said no, because I wasn't ready, because I was still not over my ex. Mine was, he was just so perfect and lovely, but I just wasn't ready for a relationship. Yeah, because I was in a toxic relationship before him. Hi, Hi Max and Mills. Mills. I'm Amy. I'm Ava and um, we're watching your live video right now. But I never have any other question for you is have you ever been pulled over by police for a bad reason? My mum's gonna hate us. Now, this is the reason this video went viral at the very start. Never have I ever run. Because we confessed everything to our mum and then she wanted to disown us. So brilliant. Right, last one in the hat. Have you ever kissed a girl? One, not like make out, but I'd be like. Kissed a girl and I liked it. Never have I ever lied in this never have I ever again. Never. You were gonna go for half then. Uh, do you know what? It was the closest one to me and you were gonna go for half. Like have you lied? No. Hi McLaughlin girls. So my question for you is never have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Preach! Both exes. That are toxic. toxic. AF. Massively. Soza. Bye. <laughs> Later. Thank you. Next. Hi, my Glockin girls. Never have you ever eaten something that, that humans aren't meant to eat. 
What? What have you ate? My friend fed me a bloody dog biscuit once. That's why, but doesn't say on the packet a human can't eat that. I know, but I just don't think it's right. They don't taste right, and they smell quite good. I think they smell good. Only Maybe. true, only true dogs would know, right? My Glockling girls, never have you ever called your teacher mom or dad. <laughs> I don't even know why I've done this. I've called my teacher dad, and I don't even speak to my dad. So don't know why I'm calling him dad. I have I've, I call him everything. Mom, Nan, Nan, Granddad. Never have you ever stalked your ex's new partner on any type of social media. Love you lots, bye. Oh, I love you too. Love you. Right, can I just put it this straight? I didn't stalk her. My friends sent me her, and I was like, and I was like, I just looked for her, and I was like, oh, like no hate or anything. Never, because I've never been replaced. <laughs> My never have I ever is. Never have I ever sent a stranger a drink. <laughs> You're gorgeous. And yes, I have, okay? Never. Never have I ever gone up to a random person in public thinking it was someone I knew and tried to start a conversation with them. But well, I've never actually went up to someone with a conversation, but there's been so many times that I've thought it was someone and I've waved and it's not. Say the beach story, please. The what? <laughs> no, that is not. I have to Yes! That's not. That's say it. Yeah. Say it. Sorry, cut off. Now, I didn't go up to a random person, I slapped a random person's bum. Yes, yeah, so you've gone basically up to a random person thinking it was your friend and slapped her bum and really it wasn't a 17 year old girl, it was a 30 year old woman with a bum out on the beach. So never have you ever snuck out the house when you were younger and your mum has never found out? But my dad hasn't, because I was living with my dad at the time. No, I am too scared of my mum. Girls, have you ever done the deed? Whilst your mum was in the house. Sorry, mum. <laughs> Hi, girls. I'm from Portugal, and my question is: Never have I ever slept with my friend's ex. <laughs> That's it. Ciao. Thank you. If you're doing that, you sort yourself out. Don't be stabbing other girls in the back. Never, never, never. Especially your best friend. <laughs> my lot king girls. This is a bit of a weird question, but have you ever got so drunk that you've like had a really bad accident? <laughs> you've had a few. I've never had a bad accident. I fell off the back of a jacuzzi and cut my head open. Went to A&E in, in an ambulance and had to get my head glued back together. Hi, my Glockling girls. Have you ever had a fight with someone in the house? And if so, who? I've had arguments with Callum. I've had arguments with Josh. Rosie. Rosie. That's it. But not like arguments where like kill each other, just like arguments and then like the next day, like it's over. We've had arguments with Max, Callum, Max. Not bad arguments though. It's just like little Bickers. here and there. Yeah. Personal. Oh my god, I didn't even mention her. I argue with her every day. And she argues with me every second. My god, and girls, my question for you is never have you ever laughed so hard you have weed in your pants? Yep. <laughs> Most definitely have. Guess like that when you're this funny, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> girls, never have you ever whilst with Josh or Matt thought about another man and getting with them? Never. Have I looked that guy never. really good looking? <laughs> Obviously, because I have eyes just like they do. But Josh never. Doesn't. Josh has never looked at a girl. Never have I ever faked my opinion on a branding. No, we have not. We are always very honest and make sure that you guys like the stuff that we actually promote. Anyone that we actually work with is brands that we're like, like we love or we rate. And if we get discount codes, we're like, we text all our family members. We're like, we all we all love a discount, don't we? So. We'd never work with a brand that we actually don't rate. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, sorry. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you really enjoyed this video because we enjoyed filming it. We like to have a laugh and this was a bit of a relaxed one. And guys, make sure you are staying tuned for the next two weeks videos because they are something that me and Millie have been dreaming of doing since we were little girls and we are actually finally getting to do it. So if this is amazing and you're on this journey with us. Sorry, I'm for headbutting you. We're on this journey with us. So uh, like, comment and subscribe and we love you. And we'll see you next week at 6.30.